Canada's snow-capped Rocky Mountains are a national landmark, but that picturesque scene is changing. Here's five things you should know about that snow. When we look at the snowpack, we're talking about how much snow stays on the mountains year to year. Climate change won't mean we have a snow drought every year. It's a little more complicated than that. The 2022-2023 winter saw record snowfalls in California, burying communities and ski hills alike. BC also had a healthy dose of snow, with most mountain areas at or near normal. So there will be outliers, but we do see a pattern emerging. You can't always measure the depth of snowpack at every elevation at all times, but we do keep track of them at certain sites, and there are trends that we're seeing so far. In parts of the Canadian Rockies, for instance, we're already seeing less snow in some valley bottoms, and scientists predict that trend to continue with no snow some years. But thanks to our colder climate, snow cover on the higher peaks has stayed relatively stable. The same can't be said for slopes in warmer areas like the US and Europe, where they're already seeing higher elevation changes. Milder falls and earlier springs that bring on a fast melt are shortening snowy seasons around the world. And scientists say that trend will continue. Here in the Canadian Rockies, the season is already four to six weeks shorter than it was 50 years ago. And as the warming continues, we'll see seasons continue to shrink. All that melting will also have an impact on our rivers. While right now we typically see peak flows in June, a warmer climate in earlier spring could bring that peak up to late April or early May. So we'll see bigger, faster rivers earlier in the season and periodic high flows from more extreme rainfall and thunderstorms. Though we'll see more water earlier, there will actually be less water later in the season, which impacts irrigation and agriculture while putting us more at risk for wildfires. Right now, when the weather heats up, our mountain snow and glaciers can sustain the rivers that they feed. Without our low elevation snowpacks and glaciers acting as that reservoir of water, we can expect lower late summer stream flows in our drought years. Our changing climate will have a big impact on our Rocky Mountains, both in how long the snow stays and where we see it. And we'll see those impacts trickle down every glacier-fed river, causing unpredictability that we will need to be prepared for.